Hi, my name is Greg Koopman, and in this video I'm going to show you how to delete AWS S3 files. Okay, we're going to go straight into it, into the job, and the job only has two components. Uh, the job can uh, delete a single file or multiple files. Uh, the multiple files would be based on a prefix value, as we will see now. So basically, what happens in general is that a list is formed based on some sort of a file name and a, or a file name prefix and what bucket and folder on uh, the AWS S3 file system you're looking at. Okay, so that's what happens in this. It builds a list. And so let's say you have a list of five files. It will iterate over each file one at a time and delete them. That's how it works. It iterates. This iterates us basically loops and deletes them one by one. Okay, this, all it passes over is a name and the path of where it is located and the delete handles the rest of TS3 delete. So this is a little different than the deleting a regular file. The reg deleting regular files you do a T file list and a T, T file delete. Here you're doing a TS3 list and a TS3 delete. Okay, so here's a component <clears throat> basically in your access key you have um, you have you put your access key for AWS and your secret key okay your region your bucket name which is in my case is GCETL and my key prefix I put my folder name in there well, along with the prefix so the prefix actually is fact sales and I don't in this case I don't put an asterisk or anything this that's just the beginning of it anything that starts with fact sales is going to be deleted okay so that's how that works that's how, what's going to show up in the list whatever starts with fact sales okay all right and the rest of these settings there's nothing extra there okay so these are your settings okay so let's see how the STS delete works TS delete also wants the access key okay for AWS S3 file system and the secret key it also wants the bucket and it also wants the key. <clears throat> so the key is going to be the current key that's passed over. Okay? So basically, when we go back over here, that's going to be this key, the key prefix plus whatever, um, you know, fact sales zero, fact sales one, etc. Um, and that's going to be basically your key. So basically, the key, this, this particular key, points to TS3 list one which is this component here, right, TS3 list 1, and then it gives a property current key, okay, which is the internal part, like we said, is right here, okay, and it's going to locate those, and it's going to delete from there, it will, it is going to use the bucket name also, so it's going to come, basically, internally, it, it concatenates this with this, the bucket with the key, and it, then it goes ahead and deletes it. Okay, so let's go ahead and first look over at our um, uh, AWS S3 bucket. Okay, so here's our S3 bucket on Amazon S3. It's called GCETL. And here is the folder X for out, X F E R out. And within that bucket and file folder, I have fact sales zero. Fact sales one, fact sales two, and fact sales three. Those are the ones I'm going to get rid of. Now, as I noted in my job and in my component setting, I had the prefix as fact sales. So anything that follows fact sales will will be deleted. Greg fi test file CSV will not be deleted because it doesn't start with fact sales. It doesn't. The prefix is not fact sales. Okay, so that's what's going to happen. So when we run this, it's going to come in here and delete them. Now, let's say you wanted to just delete Greg test file dot csv dot text. You would then, you could in your prefix, just make the entire uh, name of the file, um, th what it is here, and then you would only delete one of them. Uh, as long as there's not any, this isn't a prefix for other, other uh, file names. Okay, so let's go ahead back. I will now run it. As we look up here at the iterate, it went through all four of those uh, iterations of those four files that it found in its list and went and deleted them. So now let's just look at the proof. S3 um, monitor. Okay, and we still see them. Now why would you still see them? Well, because we got to refresh it. 
So I'm going to click the refresh above, and now we don't see them because they were deleted by the job. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and I hope it helps you in your talent job development. Thank you.